Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am testing out a two makeup brush set and one of them is by Swiss Beauty, the other one is by Mars Cosmetics. Now they both offer six brushes and they're almost similarly priced. So if you are planning to buy either of them, I hope this video is helpful because I have used a full face of makeup using these brush sets. Now, if you have not already, then do not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it notified whenever I upload. And now let's jump right in the video. Okay, so let's quickly go over with the brushes that are there in each of the set. Now, firstly, we'll go with the Swiss Beauty one. Now, what they do have is one powder brush, one foundation brush, one concealer brush, one eyeshadow blender brush, one eyeshadow applicator brush and lastly is the highlighting and lash brush now i really do not think this is meant for highlighting i would see more use of it for using it on your eyebrows or to do like an eyeliner like a gel eyeliner and smoke it out a bit or something of that sort but i don't see this brush as a highlighter brush correct me if i'm wrong hmm now this brush set is priced at 999 rupees and like i said before they do offer six brushes and now for the mars 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 <laughs> And now for the Mars Cosmetics brush set. Now this also has a powder brush, a foundation brush, a blush brush, one big eyeshadow blending brush, one eyeshadow blending brush and lastly is one small eyeshadow blending brush now this is priced at 1099 rupees and again you do get six brushes and now let's finally move on to the application so this set is going to be the mars cosmetic brushes and this set is going to be the swiss beauty brushes and to start off with i'm going to be using is an eyebrow brush which looks like this and this is there only in the swiss beauty one so on this set i'm going to be using my usual normal go-to eyebrow brush and this also can be used as an eyeliner so you know yeah this is quite a soft brush it's not giving what i want but we are going to make this work so i'm just going to use this swiss beauty brush which is f05 it's an eyeshadow applicator but i'm going to use it for concealer as well i'm just going to use this for both the eyelids and i'm going to set my eyelids using a loose powder and i'm going to use the same brush Okay, so for eyeshadow application, now here it is where it's gonna get a bit tricky because the Mars Cosmetics, they have the perfect brushes that you need for blending your eyeshadows. So firstly, I'm gonna go with this shade Jasper, which is like a beautiful orangey terracotta shade and use the Mars Cosmetic, this brush. Such a soft brush, I really like it. And what you can do is you can use this bigger fluffy brush and use it to blend it over your eyelids just so that everything is blended. Now for the Swiss Beauty side, I do not know what exactly to do because if I use this brush, it's gonna take forever for me to blend my eyeshadow. Now I am just going to use the Mars Cosmetics one on both the eyes. Because... <laughs> And now I'm going to use this beautiful orangey mustardy sort of a color just a little bit over and above where I had initially placed the earlier color. And I'm going to use the same brush that I used initially from Mars Cosmetics. And now for a little bit of smokiness, I am going to use this black color, which is from the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. Again, I'm going to take the Mars Cosmetics brush. Now, this is the last one of their brushes, the most smallest packed eyeshadow brush. So I'm just going to concentrate it here and here. Now for this side, now that's the reason why I took the black color is because I'm going to use this brush right here to use it. I'm just going to use the same brush and blend. I'm just going to use some gold shimmer. Now for this, the Swiss Beauty one comes in place. Now I am going to use this brush from Swiss Beauty. So I'm going to use this brush for both the eyes.
Okay, so I will quickly put on my eyeliner kajal and I will be right back. Now, coming to the lower lash line blending of it. Now, I love a brush which is like this one, which I used for the black, which is from Swiss Beauty. Now, all you have to do is just apply your kajal normally. Just drag it a little bit down below. And I'm going to go with the first orangey kind of the shade. I'm going to go with this brush and just blend your kajal. That's it. <music> I'm gonna do the same on this side because in the mask cosmetic there's no brush like this one so yeah now for spot concealing these brushes from Swiss Beauty are perfect and they work like a charm when it has to be spot concealing on your face for example either of the two brushes will work That's a lot to spot conceal. <laughs> so yeah, I'm just gonna let that be. And for foundation today, I am going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hours Fresh Wear Foundation. Now this is in the shade 260 Golden Sun. Now the thing about foundation brushes is that it should not be too soft because then it will become all streaky, especially when you're using like a liquid foundation like this one. So let's see, take in like two pumps. So for this side, the Mars Cosmetics one, I'm just going to start. Now I'm going to go with the Swiss Beauty one for this side. Comparatively, right off the bat, the Mars one is a bit more softer than this. But this is a bit more densely packed than that. I am going to be using this brush to apply my concealer right now and blend it. So let's hope for the best. I'm going to go with the Mars one first. The Swiss Beauty one. I'm just going to go back to the Mars brush to conceal the leftover concealer. Oh, but this is such a good brush. And next up for the powder we have from Mars powder brush which I kind of like because it is quite angled as you guys can see and this dome sized brush which is from Swiss Beauty it is also nice fluffy sort of a dome sized brush. Swiss Beauty one. Now in the Swiss Beauty one you do not have like a blush brush so I'm going to use this one for both the sides and earlier you have seen me using these with the cream blushes it works like a charm and this time I'm going to use it for powder brush. So I'm taking my old trusty Milani Luminoso. Now finally we have is contouring and for that I'm going to use the LA Girl Pro Conceal and this is in the shade Beautiful Bronze. Today we are going to go with the Mars Cosmetics Blush Brush because I kind of prefer this to blend the contour. I've just cleaned the brush. For this side, I'm going to use the concealer brush because we don't have a particular brush for that. So for highlighter in the Mars Cosmetics, you have this sort of a brush which is perfect for highlighter over here or just to blend it along the side over here. Now for the Swiss Beauty one, there is nothing which I could think of to use for highlighters around the cheek area. But then on your nose or on the bridges over your nose, you can use this one just to spot kind of like highlight or even in the inner corner of your eyelids, this will be perfect but I don't see using this one on my cheek area. So I'm going to use the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlighter. Oh, and I just dry cleaned the brush a little bit. I'm going to use the same thing for this side as well. Okay, so again, the Swiss Beauty one, I have dry cleaned it so all the black eyeshadow is out. And I'm going to use it for highlighting my nose as well as in the inner corner of both my eyelids. Okay, now I'll be back with the lashes on. 
Okay, so let's compare each of the brushes and we will start off with the ones that is common. So I'll start first with the foundation brush. Now we're coming to the foundation brush from Mars Cosmetics and the Swiss Beauty. Now the Mars Cosmetics one was much more softer on the skin. Like they both are soft, but just that the Mars Cosmetics was a bit more softer than the Swiss Beauty one. Wherein the Swiss Beauty one was a bit more densely packed, so it kind of blended much more quicker than the Mars. So they both each have their own pros and cons. I mean, it's not like a deal breaker, but just a slight difference that I could find when you compare both of them. But apart from that, they both apply the liquid foundation pretty well. There was no streak mark, even though I used a very liquidy sort of a foundation. So yeah, they did a great job in blending the foundation. And now next up is the powder brushes. Now in the powder brushes, I liked both of them. They both are pretty soft. They did the job well. They blended the powder very well. There was no issue. There was no streak marks or anything of that sort. There was no problem at all. But then if you do ask me, I do like the Mars Cosmetics one because it has a nice angle shape to it. And you can also use this for blending your blushes, which I do see myself using it. So yeah, this I really do like because it is kind of angled and it hugs, you know, your, under your eyes perfectly. This also does a great job. There's no problem whatsoever. But yeah, comparison wise, I like the Mars Cosmetics one a bit more better. So that is that with the brushes that were common in both the set. Now coming to the Mars blush brush, I love this brush a lot. It does a great job and I love the fact that you can not just only use this for your blush, you can also use it for your contour or bronzer. It will go really well as well as for setting the powder under your eye, you can also use this one. So I really like that how multi usage this kind of blush brush is. And unfortunately, there is no blush brush when it comes to the Swiss Beauty one. But again, you, there is no set rule as such. And you can also use like your powder brushes from the Swiss Beauty to blend out your blush if it is a powder. For cream, it could be streaky. I'm not that sure about it. I've not used it for like a cream product. But if it's like a powder product, this will be perfect even for a blush or for contouring. So... Yeah. So this one is the concealer brush and this one is the eyeshadow applicator brush. So they both are quite similar to look at, but this one is a bit more densely packed than the concealer brush. But yeah, this is how they both look like. Now I can see myself using both of them for a spot concealing like I did in today's video, as well as blending the concealer on my eyelids. I kind of do not prefer using this for under the eyes because you have to be a bit quick to do that. And this does take a bit time to do that. So yeah, I kind of don't prefer it for under the eyes, but on your eyelids, this is perfect. And both these brushes are perfect if you have to like pack on any eyeshadow as such. Maybe be matte eyeshadow or if it's shimmer or glitter eyeshadows they both will work fine for eyeshadow application i do use both of them now coming back to swiss beauty brushes i do like this brush which is meant for eyeshadow blending i really like this is because you can spot blend it like how i did for the black or even if it's like you use a gel eyeliner and you want to smoke it out this is perfect for your lower lash line this is perfect for your highlighter on your nose area and even on the cupid's bow it is perfect for that so i really do like it however i do not prefer this sort of an eyeshadow brush for blending in your eyeshadow in your transition color or transition shade or anything of that sort because it will take ages for it to blend if it's like spot blending it this will work perfect and last but not the least for the swiss beauty we have is this highlighting and lash brush i don't understand how is this meant for highlighting like literally how is this brush meant for highlighting? But then this one, I would rather use it either for eyebrows, which I personally may not, but you can use it for eyebrows or the best use of this one is for your eyeliner. So this will perfectly work for that if you're going to use a gel eyeliner this will be it and finally from mars cosmetics we have is these three beauties which i freaking love about it is because they blend like a dream they're super soft great quality as well and i love how multi-usage again all of these three are and what i like the best about this one is that this middle one you can use it even for a concealer you know for blending your concealer because this one is a bit more densely packed than this one so you have a better control in concealing or you know using it for concealers as well now, now, if you have a chalky eyeshadow palette, do not use these brushes because these will blend it to nothing. 
literally to nothing because i own a lot of chalky eyeshadow palettes as well and there are many times that i've used these sort of brushes to actually pack the color rather than these sort of brushes so yeah if you have like a okayish sort of a palette use this one than this so overall if you are a beginner and if you're planning to buy like a brush set you do not know which one you can go for either of them depending upon your requirement for example when i started my youtube channel like three four years back i think three years back at that time when i wanted to buy a brush set all over aliexpress i was able to find a brush set which looked like this i will insert a picture of it i was not much interested in this sort of a brush set i wanted something which can blend properly like how i used to see in videos you know of morphe brushes and everything and that's the reason why i put in some money that's why i got from aliexpress because it was cheaper and you can get a lot of product as well which was worth the money at that time i think only pack used to have those kind of brushes and mac and even those were above my budget at that time so that's why i never bought any of those brushes even right now to this day most of my brushes are from aliexpress like majority of them there's only very few very very few that is from elf which i recently bought and then it's real techniques which i had for like ages like six seven years back when i got it from us and i have a few is from uh, just one from anastasia beverly hills which is super expensive but yeah that is about it the rest of all my brushes that you have ever seen in any of my youtube video it is from aliexpress so it has been three to four years only now one or two brushes have broken and they go on really fine they do the job even after washing and cleaning it's pretty damn good so yeah that's why if you're a beginner depending upon your requirement buy the brushes and finally for which specific one that i would buy out of both of them i think it would be the mars cosmetics one because i can see more value for money on that brush set because especially because of the blush brush and the three eyeshadow brushes they are good in quality it feels a little bit heavy and it looks also pretty good comparatively swiss beauty is good it's great value for money again compared to what we have in the market right now but if you ask me personally for which one i would be using it would be the mars cosmetics one oh and one thing that i almost forgot to mention is that i am going to be washing these brushes right after this video and i am going to be using that tomorrow for my another video that i'm going to be filming so if i have any issue with either of them then i will pin the comment that i will put it down below so do check that out if there is nothing then no issues at all and i will also mention it in the description box below so yeah guys these were my thoughts on the swiss beauty brush set as well as mars cosmetic brush set as well and this wrap today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it if you did not forget to hit subscribe button and the bell icon right next to me sort of whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best for you as well as follow me on my socials which is on instagram and on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye